So a few days back, David reached out to me, who is actually the longest Patreon member on this channel. And he introduced me to a window manager that is Niri. And ever since I started using it, I have actually fallen in love with it. Especially because of this one design language or system, whatever you would like to call it. That is window overflow. I absolutely love it. It's a really beautiful concept. So for example, I just have maybe files, uh, Firefox, and also a text editor open over here. And if you notice carefully that uh, a part of the window is actually out of the screen in the left, this one. So basically, you're not really limited by your display. You can just easily switch between your windows. It's a really nice concept. But before doing anything, you actually need to install Niri, which is very simple. Okay, we need to open Firefox again and uh, just search for Niri GitHub and this is what we need getting started and here you can get all the options available for example we have Fedora 43 which is this operating system currently so uh, the best part is you also get the uh, COPR repository uh, I mean COPR for uh, Fedora which is kind of like AUR on Arch so it makes the installation very easy you can just enable it and then DNF install this package or if you want to install it from source you can also do it from here so it's provided for ubuntu as well as fedora after this is done and done you need to install Confix, which is actually the app that i created uh, the link is in the description again you can just download the package and basically start it up from wait where where, where did i keep it oh here install.sh just run it and it will be installed and then you can just log out and log back into uh, Niri. Now I'm already inside Niri, so it doesn't really make sense to log out and log back in. But anyway, let's start Confix. Now you need to know certain shortcuts. Also, I want to clear one thing. Uh, Niri won't be looking like this because for the past few days I've been experimenting with it and this is what I kind of like, the current uh, setup. But when you first launch Niri, it is not going to look like this. It is going to look a lot different from this one. Again, this is not going to be a complete customization video, but basically a tour of my app. And after watching this video, you can also do your own customization and maybe find your own way of styling Niri. But if you want the configs, they are also available in the description below. You can easily download from there, including the wallpaper. So Super Plus D will launch this menu, uh, app menu. From here, you can just search for configs or just open configs. And now I'll just create a new project. Let me just name, name it config because config.kdl is actually the file. And this is where how, uh, like I was telling it before, I was explaining before that it is actually a bit different from what David initially suggested. That is, it basically converts the config of Niri into a .config format, which is the format used by this particular app for dis displaying the stuff in GUI also enabling you to edit everything properly. But then when you save it or export it, it also again converts it back to KDL. Now, if you don't want to convert it to KDL, you can also convert it to some other window manager config. So you can also copy a look from KDL to a different window manager. But this is just a concept as of now because uh, the blueprint is kind of what is ready. So everything looks like it is made for Niri, but yeah, as uh, more plugins or maybe packages, packages would be the correct term I create for Convex, they will be added up over here and then you can convert it to different languages or Convex for different window managers. Okay, enough of that. Let's start. As you can see, uh, KDL is selected. You can also select dot Convex, but we're going to select dot KDL and let us select the project directory maybe inside downloads. Let's create a new directory. KDL PRJ, basically the short form of KDL projects. And okay, done. Default export directory, we can set it later. later. Okay, this is basically your blank slate. So these two are actually your windows. Think of them like two different tiled windows on the screen. And you can just select and change a lot of the options from there. So for example, this is a gap. So you can select and change the gap from here. You can select a particular window, add or remove borders from there. And then you can also change the border color by selecting them from here. For example, you can add a border color from here. So a lot of options are available. Uh, let us add a border color 
Now I'm going to quickly just export this to the default config which is present inside the Niri folder inside config. Yeah, I'll just create a copy of this because I really love the existing config. Select and OK. As you can see, it is successfully exported and uh, there is this border as well as the focus ring over there. Now what I'm going to do is just center this window center focus column to make this easier for me because it is going to it is getting a bit difficult sport yeah done now the column will be always centered we can also turn off the focus ring because border is already present we don't really need a focus ring just select and remove done now I can also change maybe add rounded corners let's just remove the bottom part as you can see we can add rounded corners uh, we can change the gaps we can increase the gaps and maybe select the border remove active color and uh, instead of color we can add a gradient we can select the first color maybe from the screen and since it is using Zenity you can select color from the screen so it makes things much more easy select and for the other one, let us select a more darker color from here. Done. Apply. As you can see, it is applied. Uh, now you can change the angle of the gradient. As you can see, I'm changing it. So I can do it like this. Maybe increase the lightness in the bottom part. Apply. As you can see, the gradient applies properly as expected. Now, what if you want to add more gaps, maybe between the screen and the edge of the monitor? This is where the advanced stuff come into play. As you can see, I just closed the preview tab. Now you can add stuff from here. So we need struts for that. We don't really need all the struts. So you can just remove them, delete them or make them zero. So maybe I want to just add struts at the bottom part. Let's not make it 64. Let's keep it at maybe 10 because gaps are already there. This is going to add on with the gap and export it. As you can see, the bottom part increased. Similarly, we can add other stuff. For example, uh, we have the default column display. It is tabbed. Okay preset column width this is actually great you can press the windows plus r which is going to change the size of your column or the window windows are referred to as columns over here so mod plus r sorry super plus r super plus r uh, it will change between or among these so you can just change them so maybe 0 0.3 is okay i i want the last last one to be a bit large so 0 0.8 also, you can change the default window width. Currently, okay, let's change it to 0 0.8. Or maybe, okay, 0 0.8. Export. And now, if I launch a new instance, as you can see, it is much larger right now. Also, if I try to cycle between the different sizes, as you can see, they have changed. Now, what I do like to change is this one not uh, I don't really like to keep it at always and still we can change it to on overflow so when the window overflows out then the window will be centered for example right now in this case if you don't do this if you keep it at default which is never it is going to be like this so you can just change it according to your own requirement but if you think that maybe you have messed up, you want to go back to the default, for example, maybe the proportions you have messed up and you don't really remember what were the default, you can just right click and reset from here. Everything will be back to default. Same goes for the center focused column or maybe the borders, uh, focus ring, everything. You can change them according to your requirement or you can also reset them back if you think like you messed up somewhere. Now we can move over to the next part, which is basically animations. Again, you can add stuff according to your own requirement over here. So 
for example workspace switch which is basically this animation I can change it damping ratio will increase the time for the animation so export as you can see it increased from there you can change the stiffness maybe change the epsilon and stuff from there from here and uh, again you get this option to reset you can also delete a certain parameter if you think like it's not really needed and again you can get it back by just resetting this parameter so this is a really nice way to get started with window manager especially if you are a beginner again there is this option to just toggle the sidebar over here because it's not really required all the time and if you still want to uh, actually go back to a previous version that you thought looked better you can definitely do that because Confix maintains a dedicated version manager uh, not a version manager I mean history of the files that you were editing so uh, if we open the project folder directly you can notice them they're all present over here so you can just go back to one of them when the dedicated version manager comes in to Confix. as of now it's kind of all manual but yeah you, maybe you want to go back to version 6 you can just delete these files to go back to version 6 or move them somewhere else and you can do that so that is all for today thank you so much for watching more functions will be coming up on Confix, including um, support for other window managers let us see how far we can push this application and if you want to download you can use the links in the description below and also uh, the configs for the waybar the niri config everything is there in the description you can download and use it from there and thank you so much for watching again and i'll catch you in the next one